EcoFlow Power Hub. Part of the EcoFlow Power Kit is how we're gonna power our shed and make it a tiny home. In here, we're gonna power it using the EcoFlow system to have a microwave, a refrigerator, a toaster, an oven, a TV, video games console, AC, heater, everything. Here's our shed. It's kind of dark right now, and that's why we need power. This EcoFlow Power Hub will have power inputs, it will have solar inputs, it will have alternator input, different types of power input, and then we'll have outputs on this thing. Let me explain how we're gonna attach this to the wall and how we're gonna attach batteries in here. First of all, this is not very strong, so we had to go to Home Depot. This is three quarter inch wood that we're gonna use. It's nice high quality wood. It's gonna be the foundation, the backboard of our EcoFlow power kit. Let's grab our wood right here. This one is four feet by eight feet. We only need about six feet and 39 and three quarters of an inch, but we gotta get the whole thing and get it cut down to size. It costs us about $70. Now to the cutters. We're loading up the plywood right now. So we're gonna make the cut on top there. That's gonna be 39 and 3 fourths. After cutting it down to size, this is the final piece we have. 39 3 fourths inch by 6 feet. We're good to go. Let's take this thing home. Home people is closed. We're gonna take this home and we're gonna start putting together our EcoFlow power kit installation in our shed. Let's go. The so nice thing, having a Tesla Model Y, is that you can take home some boards of projects. Tilting it just a little bit. Here we go. Some padding to protect it. Then we're good. Some extra strap wood, just in case. We need to have extra places to mount things. This board and this board. We'll see you at home. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and test fit this and make sure it fits our shed, aka our tiny home. This board is heavy duty, guys. It is 3 4 inch thick wood right here. And the reason why we want such a strong board is because we want to mount our power hub to this, our AC distribution panel, all of our circuitry on this board. And that's why it's going to have to handle the weight. Just like if you're mounting into an RV or into a real tiny home, you need a foundation that's strong to support it. Test fitting it. Oh, it doesn't fit. Hang on. Oh, it fits, it fits. I was afraid of this tiny little corner, but we measured exactly 39 and 3 4 inches, so it cleared it just perfectly, and we have this up to six feet, so we have a little inch right there of clearance, perfect. The idea is we're gonna have the EcoFlow batteries right here, the lithium ion phosphate battery, the five kilowatt unit, and we might even have three of them. Actually, here's one of them now. These things are heavy. They have five kilowatt hour each. Whoa. They can handle the temperatures outside, cold environment or hot environment. These batteries are crazy cool. They actually have a circuitry inside that heats up the battery to optimal temperature, very efficient. And these are lithium ion phosphate technology. You have a lot of duty cycles before you notice any battery degradation. EcoFlow lithium ion phosphate batteries right here. These batteries are heavy. We're gonna attach the battery to the board right here with some brackets. We're gonna use these brackets right here and we're gonna attach these batteries to the board. So when you attach them, they will kind of look like this on the side. They'll attach on like this. So this will give some space between the back of the battery to run wires up as well. Once you attach it like this, you can see how the batteries are weighting down and supporting the board. They'll attach like this on both sides. One on this side right here. You also have the other bracket on this side. Basically, the batteries are gonna hold the board and then if you can imagine, we have multiple batteries. So one, two, three. Now we're up to here. So what goes up here? Up here will be our EcoFlow power hub. So the three batteries, boom, boom, boom. These three batteries will connect to the three batteries right there. We're gonna get solar from outside. We're gonna get alternate power, and we might also have another gas generation power source too. So it's gonna come in, charge our batteries. If we wanted to, we can also have an input from the mains to power our batteries, just if we get desperate. But the idea is to use solar, to use alternate power and to use a gas generator to power this as if we're in a tiny home or in a RV. You want to have about four inches of clearance on top and four inches of clearance down below for proper ventilation. So we can put this somewhere around here. We might even push closer to the wall. That is your our power hub right here. AC DC distribution panel, maybe somewhere around here. And we're going to get the EcoFlow console right here. We'll probably put it down here so it's easier to see because I'm kind of short and this is eye level. We're going to put the console somewhere around here and this will let us know the power coming in 
the power coming out of the batteries, the different circuits, six AC circuits. We have 12 DC circuits. And these six DC circuits can be turned on and off by the console or by the smartphone app. Pretty cool, right? And then basically, we're gonna wire out these circuits into our tiny home, aka the shed. Each circuit will be running like an AC, a microwave. Maybe this one will be a toaster and a heater. This one will be an ice maker and a TV. You get the point. We're gonna have so many applications in our shed right here. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna push this thing to the limit. That is how our system will be set up. So we're gonna get three of these. One, two, three, and connect all to here. And then the power from here, you have two outputs right here that's gonna feed the, the AC and the DC part. And then we're gonna distribute the power throughout our tiny home here. And it will monitor everything right here with the EcoFlow console. That's the idea. We'll see how everything goes. Follow for more. That's the plan. And we'll see how everything goes. It's exciting. And if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. And by no means am I a professional installer. This is all hobbyist, fun, experimental. I'm just playing with this kit. And the beauty of this kit is because it is a standalone kit. It's easy enough for me to figure out. And there's no permits required because nothing gets attached to my home. Everything is all self-contained and everything is included in a kit. I don't need to figure out any wiring that is not part of the kit. It's awesome. This is the EcoFlow Power Kit. 15 kilowatt independence kit with the AC distribution panel with the EcoFlow console and the power hub as well as three of these huge batteries right here. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know in the comments what you think about this project.